Howdy. I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop Gold and Tater Separating Processor. This is my Gold Cube Trommel, which I have modified. The punch plate on this Trommel is 3 16th inch. A little bit too big to run this 3 16th material through the gold rod. So I have modified it. I removed the center rib on the drum and lined it with an eighth inch screen, nylon screen, using plastic rings to expand the string up into the wall of the inside of the drum. So I'm classifying this painter here received from Randy Rice, Idaho gold miner. Awesome. These, uh, these are his concentrates. So we're going to run it through the gold drop, classified 8 inch, and see what gold we get. Here's the product after we're done classifying. This was the first screen that I classified through. This is a eighth inch mesh, number six. So this is the product. These are the overs here, all the big gravel that is too big to go through the screen. And then this material here actually went through the screen. So our next bucket is classified through this screen here, which is uh, two millimeter, basically 80 thousandths in diameter. And so this is the product that we got from that. This material here. And then the next screening was with this 35 mesh screen. You can see through it, it's definitely there. So, and this is the product of that screening, which is this material here, which is 35 mesh, and this is the minus 35 mesh. So now we'll take all of this material and we'll run this through the gold drop and see what gold we get. We'll start by putting in some of this minus 35 mesh here so we can set the drop water. So it looks like uh, we're getting a pretty good disturbance. Now I'll go ahead and reduce the drop water. Right now we're set at 0.5 and I'll reduce it down until we start getting the mineral to come down into the jar. Well, that looks real good to me. Let me increase the uh, mixing a little bit here. A little more disturbance in the trap. Okay, that looks great. So, now we'll go ahead and start adding.
Here's the action inside the trap in the column as the water does its work. You see the tailings just kind of being tossed around, up and down, all around. And on the back side over here, then it just kind of seems to have a return travel back down into the trap. And then into the drop and into the jar. So let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, let's uh, see what gold we got. So we'll turn up the drop water, close the valve, unscrew the jar, A little bit of gold in there, but I have to clean it up and see what we got here. First, I'll remove the magnetite to fit it off. Yeah, there's quite a bit there. So that's the uh, magnetite we removed. So now let's see if we can clean up, see what we get for our gold here. Now let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the overbid over the back side of the claw here. Good enough. Shake that all back into the pan. Okay, let's see what we can do here. a close eye on the end of the pan there just make sure you don't see any gold going away just gently kind of shake it to work its way towards the edge there oh you can see the gold down there at the bottom okay let's see okay yeah. oh there's her gold okay put it all back down there again and start from the beginning just work the mineral towards the edge of the pan. You can see the gold there. Well, that's some pretty dead stuff, no doubt about it. But now we got gold working its way over, so... Oh, look at all that gold. Okay, so uh, let's just do this one more time. Boy, that's some really dense stuff. It's not black sand anymore. This is something entirely different. Well, this is just, uh, I'm never going to separate that out just for this technique. But uh, you can see the gold there. So far is what we got. And uh, so what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to dump that through the gold drop. To clean away the rest of that black sand. So let's do that. I have the meter set at 0.6 gallons per minute. That'll keep most of it up into the trap. Oh yeah, you can see the gold separating dropping into the jar while all the black sand and the heavies are elevated up into the trap. So let's uh, turn down the water right now. I'm set at 0.5 so I'm going to start reducing the water flow. Bring some of the black 
sand down into the trap so I can uh, get all the gold to drop out. Yeah, that looks like it's doing a pretty good job. The gold is a lot heavier than that black material, which uh, could be manganese and pyrite. But we'll let that settle out and see our gold. Now we'll see how clean the gold got. Well, that's pretty clean actually. A little bit of mineral dropped in, but by golly, there is clean gold. Get it in the sunshine here. Oh, got even some floaters there too. Jeez, I just can't see much. Oh, there we go, over here. <laughs> Crazy. So anyway, there's the gold. This is from the 35 mesh. Now I'll go ahead and just process the rest of it and we'll just get a tally of all the gold at the end. Here's the result. And the gold extracted from Randy's concentrates. This is from seven and a half gallons total processed. So that's pretty cool. So now here's what we got from the magnet sluice. We've captured what little gold has escaped from the gold drop but then also we have captured the gold ore that I find in all pay dirt now. So that's pretty incredible. Well there you have it Randy. Your gold and this gold ore from your pay dirt. Well thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.